All right, all the cabinets are installed along the wall, so now we are ready to start building tool holders. So we're gonna start with the plane till. So today we're building the plane till to hold all my planes. So let's get started. All right, so to figure out the angle for my plane till, I'm just putting my longest plane up here and I'm just gonna measure it with my angle finder here. Get it set about where I want it. All right, and we're like 58-ish degrees there. So I'm gonna round that off to 60. So I'm gonna cut this bottom piece at 30 because 90 minus 60 is 30. And that'll give me an operable uh, angle at the table saw that will match this. And then once I do that, I will come back and figure out the top angle for the length I'm looking at. All right, so I cut that 30 degree angle and I have it set up here to where the angle is flush on uh, the bottom shelf here and tilted back to the back wall. So I don't want my till plane to be right on the edge of the cabinet. I want it to be set back about a half inch, three quarters of an inch or so. So I have a three quarter inch spacer that I'm gonna use to mark the top angle and length. So now that it's set down in there, I'm just gonna set my spacer up here and mark that angle. And that's the angle and length that I'm gonna cut it with. So once I cut this at that, on um, that line there, I'll be able to slide this whole thing back to where it's flush against the back of the cabinet and tight to the bottom. And this is the wider cabinet. This is, piece is actually gonna go into the smaller cabinet next to it, but this just gives me room to mark all that. All right, so since the bottom angle is 30 degrees, the math works out that this is 60 degrees. That's a really steep angle uh, to cut flat like this on the table saw. So I'm gonna stand it up and to get it set out uh, right so the blade contacts the line right here exactly where I want it, I'm gonna first cut it to length here. So I've transferred my mark on to the top and I'm just gonna cut it off at the miter saw. All right, so I got my jig here that slides on my fence. And I'm gonna take my work piece, stand it up here and clamp that guy down. All right, and we'll move this guy over. All right, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's my mark and my blade's going in the right direction. So I'm just gonna move this over here to where I don't want to ruin my jig here, so I don't want to take too heavy of a cut. So I'm just going to set it up here to where it just kisses it. All right, do a test fit here. All right, it's tight to the bottom and tight to the top, so it fits in there nice. And I have a nice little lip right here uh, to put a piece of wood here for the planes to rest against. So let's start building that out. All right, so I cut this little guy with this uh, 30 degree bevel on it, and that is gonna go down here. And so that makes this 90, so I have a nice clean square shelf to set my planes on. And then as my keeper strip, I ripped a bevel on this that's 30 degrees, and then that'll get glued on right there, so that way this gives a nice 90 degree look to the shelf. All right, so I'm gonna move it over to this guy and we'll get it installed. All right, actually before we install it in the cabinet, I think I wanna pre-finish it first because I'm gonna install it in the cabinet in such a way that's more of a permanent installation. So. Pin it till the glue dries. All 
All right, we'll trim that flush later. All right, so most of the time when I see people build plane tills, they put all their large planes on the bottom and then put the shorter planes or smaller planes at the top. But then you have to reach much further across all this other stuff to get the smaller, shorter planes. So I think I'm gonna go the other way, put these guys at the top, especially since they have a big handle to grab onto and these guys down here, and that way I can just grab and go with each one and I don't have to reach over the top of all the other ones. So I think I'm gonna go something like this. All right, so now I just need to build a little structure in there to uh, hold those guys. So this little bit of geometry here is not going to be seen once it's installed because this will be inside the cabinet, but I still want this to fit in there so I don't have this weird uh, gap right there. I'd rather have it beveled out. So I got a little uh, finesse work to do to figure that guy out. All right, I think that's good enough and I'll just kind of sand and round this guy over right here. So I went ahead and pre-finished the background. These aren't finished. I'll just do those by hand after I get done installing the planes, but I wanted to get it finished and installed in here so I could see how the plane set. I put this strip in here first, just so that way I'm not banging my knuckles on there. It gives me a little spacer to pull that plane out. All right, and because I don't want a friction fit, I'm gonna set a spacer in here just to give myself about an eighth inch space on each one of these. All right, and I'm just gonna tack them in place. since I permanently attached this that anything that goes in there is never coming out without uh, some kind of mass destruction of the cabinet all right all right so to stop to solve my fat fingers from banging into the wood there I just milled down some smaller ones here, tack those in place. All right, there we go. Got those uh, all installed. I do have a few planes laying around the shop here. I'll probably put those up top or whatnot. But I got room to expand another level here or uh, Put some spoke shaves up here or something like that in those areas. So my favorite part though is it's at an angle. It's not a flat surface. So I probably can't make a big mess of that. 
So this big space here is kind of messing with my OCD. I might need to buy another little mini hand plane just to go right there, just, uh, just to fill that spot. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I just want that spot filled. Speaking of OCD, I should make a new handle one day. All right, the plane tail turned out pretty good. So next we will start building a saw till for this cabinet right here. Thanks for watching.